Yeah, I just uh, wanted to offer an apology to the uh, the fans in Seattle for the actions of a few people in my town of Oklahoma City who do not speak for the majority of us. Um, like Amy Goodman says, there's a silenced majority out there, and that's what happened in Oklahoma City. There were a ton of people who would have made the right decision if it weren't for a multi-million dollar propaganda campaign to coerce us to, uh, to fund the stadium and then to give 60 to 70 million more dollars in, uh, in state tax money which allowed this latest 75 million dollar thing to happen. Uh, they have said that it's money out of uh, the ownership group's pocket which is a filthy lie. It is money from SB 1819 which is going to give them about that much money and they will have that on top of their mass fortunes and will allow them to, uh, to do this deal. Uh, it's a very wasteful deal as Adam Smith, the basically founder of capitalism, said that subsidies encourage waste. Well, there you have it. Uh, this is a tremendous waste. It's, a, it's money that could have been used for, as a fellow from your town called, more important things. And people will suffer from this. And uh, this is, you know, when this basketball season starts, gas, who knows, five, six dollars a gallon. People can't, you know, fill up their tank and drive down to see a see a game unless they're working for Timothy McClendon, I mean Aubrey McClendon and um, you know, making all kinds of money off of more subsidies for quote unquote oil and gas research has looted us for about a third of a billion dollars and uh, a lot of that money goes you know to Texas to research in the Barnett Shell uh, it is it is a disgrace people are going to suffer Oklahoma City people are gonna if you, if you don't like Oklahoma City people great it, bad things are gonna happen but you care about humanity hopefully you will uh, look out for us and um, offer us uh, best wishes dealing with these these filthy, filthy people. Aubrey McClendon, Clay Bennett, the people who work for him, uh, who work for the campaign, uh, Big League City, and SB 1819. Almost none of them live in Oklahoma City. Uh, this, this ogre, Pat McClendon, who lives in Norman, was the head strategist for the campaign. Uh, a majority of the people in the Chamber of Commerce who uh, w made up the uh, AstroTurf group Big League City, they call it grassroots, you know, it's AstroTurf. Uh, they live in a, a town called Edmond, like seven out of ten of them. Um, you can go to, the, go to the website, look at their names, go to whitepages.com, there they are, Edmond. One of them lives in Choctaw. Um, it wasn't really Oklahoma City people that made this disgraceful thing happen. It was outsiders who just want to profit. And, uh, you know, very dark times are going to come. Um, you know, we could have public transportation here, we could have better schools, but no, we're going to have this basketball team, which, you know, basketball's cool. I could, you know, I would challenge anyone who worked on this to a game, you know, and I would, I would <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be, be ugly, especially that filthy, fat slob, Pat McFerrin, you know, he was on this, uh, this round table discussion this last week, uh, Flashpoint, and there's this big thing in the center of the table, and I kept thinking he was going like, to think it was a pizza and grab it, and you know, big overweight termites start chewing on the table or something like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we're up against, overweight, uh, star oil, uh, termite guys, you know, and it's pretty bad. But, you know, I think some people will wake up to this, I think possibly, uh, I was about to say something really bad, but I'm not going to say it. I got, Woo, this really, ugh. okay, stop.